Hello parents, I'm Mr. Claxon or Matt Claxon. Uh, I teach Algebra 1 CP. I also teach Algebra 2 CP and uh, Digital Electronics. Here are the sections uh, for Algebra 1 CP this year. So why Algebra 1 CP? Well, it is a, a course requirement, one of the four math credits uh, that students need in order to graduate. Um, in addition to that, I, I like to tell students that it's to exercise their brains help them think analytically and become better, better problem solvers. There are going to be different ways for students to show what they know with uh, homework or practice and I say quality of honest work because I do like for students um, to, to try it on their own. There are tools that they can use. I'm not naive to that. I know PhotoMath and uh, there are apps, other apps that will show them exactly what to do to show their work um, and those are tools but I just ask that they are honest with me if they use those tools so we can maybe try to address where they're getting caught up or what it is they do not understand. Um, other activities there will be three week assessments. Um, there are times every now and again um, I try to let students know about all quizzes and tests but there are times when I, when I have just an assessment for learning. Um, it is rare that that is for a grade. Um, online discussions as well uh, this year with the use of Canvas um, and other assignments, whether it be uh, Khan Academy, IXL, um, quizzes. Um, there are other many different uh, other apps that we can use to assess learning. Our book is Algebra 1. The redemption code is right there on the screen. The student's username should be their email at npschools.org. Their password should be the first four digits of their last name, or the first four letters of their last name, rather, and the last four digits of their student ID, unless they've changed it in a previous year. Uh, if that's not the case, then we will find out in class, because we are going to register for the book in class. Um, the hardcover is not required. Students do not have to bring that every day, do not want them breaking their backs, carrying all their books, or breaking their backpacks. So they can access the book through their Chromebook uh, in class. What are they going to need every day? Well, a charged Chromebook is going to be essential. If it's not charged, I ask that they let me know as soon as possible. Um, just, you know, whether that's an email, whether that's they come into class, Mr. Clark, so my Chromebook is not charged. Um, they have to bring this thing charged every day. If, if it's broken, I understand. We'll try to work around that. There is a help desk number uh, on the school's website that they can call if they're having trouble at home. Uh, although need this year, they do not have to have a binder. I don't, I don't want to overwhelm them with, with uh, binders if they have other classes that require it. They are allowed to keep one if they want but uh, it's, it's not required. Just a, a basic spiral notebook um, that they can write notes in and complete problems in uh, for this class only. And I do like to, for them to complete the work in pencil um, and then correct it in a different color. Sometimes all the student has is a different color at home, like a blue or red, and they correct it in pencil, but uh, a calculator. Well, I did list the TI-83 and TI-84 plus on the syllabus. It is important for them to get these calculators if they're planning on continuing their career and going to uh, higher mathematics. It will be required by the time you know they get to AP stats or pre-calculus and it would be good for them to familiarize themselves with it right now. I understand that these calculators are very costly. So the student could get by with uh, Desmos, with a TI-30X2S. I just, I like for them to have something that they can punch numbers into and not always have to go um, to the, 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 cal or the uh, computer screen for that. So they, they could get by with that. In fact, they're allowed to use Desmos on their end of course exam for Algebra 1. Um, that's, the, that's the test that they have to pass in order to get credit for this course. So they, they, they must pass an end of course exam to get credit for this course. 
if you have any questions for me, email is preferred. You could call the school as well and leave a message for me. I could call you back. Um, I do use Remind and the codes are, are up there right now. Uh, if you would like to sign up for that, I just, I always like to make sure, just make sure that your student uh, has access to Remind if they're able, if they are limited in the number of communications they can receive. Um, through their device, then maybe the parent can sign up, or if you just want to want to keep track, um, feel free. Thank you very much for watching this uh, virtual open house for Algebra 1 CP.